$833,000 generated in the last year as of April 2024 to April 2025. In terms of the total lifetime, we've generated over $3.54 million in the Stripe account. We also have 1.7K expected to hit our bank account today. My name is Hugo Wong and I operate a marketing agency as well as an AI systems agency. And today's video kind of showing you how to start and operate an AI agency because a lot of my clients in the marketing agency world are asking me to build AI systems for them. Uh, which I'm able to charge anywhere from $5,000 per project or $10,000 per project up front. And also charging them, let's say 500 bucks to 1.5K per month after that for management. So I'm just gonna be diving into the full nitty gritty, how we can start an AI agency in 2025 so you can replicate my success and start doing this for yourself. And so you might be wondering, hey Hugo, I wanna start an AI agency right now before summer starts. What is the best place to start and where is the best place to start? Well, let's go through a couple niches which you should be targeting right now in order to sign your first client as soon as possible, let's say within the first 14 days. The first thing that most people will tend to gravitate towards is online business right everyone wants to sign an online business that is a great place to sign clients but online business space is super saturated in the sense that a lot of these business owners have already started implementing AI into their business because you know they are in the online space so chances are they know about these AI tools they probably have implemented and maybe even they already have someone already doing AI for them so let's say e-commerce info products coaching consulting or an agency chances are they already have some sort of AI system in their business. So we're not gonna be targeting them right off the bat as a beginner from scratch, although they are a great industry to target once you have a handful of clients already under your belt then you wanna to transition towards targeting online businesses. And even let's say professional services, just like accounting, lawyers, financial advisors, real estate, insurance, uh, these are a great place to start if you have a background and experience in those niches. What you wanna be doing when you first start off is asking yourself, hey, where do I spend my time? What kind of content do I consume? Am I into fashion? Am I into fitness? I wanna be targeting businesses which I have experience in or have some sort of knowledge in. I don't have to be an expert in that niche, but I wanna have some sort of knowledge so I have an advantage compared to let's say another person trying to start an AI agency. If you have some sort of experience in the professional services niche, then I recommend you starting off in that. But if you have no experience in the professional services niche and you're starting from scratch, you have no coding experience, you have no business experience, then I would recommend you start targeting home services first because chances are the business owners in the home services niche demographic in that niche tend to be a little older, let's say 30 years old to 60 years old plus, and the businesses that they're operating are pretty traditional, pretty simple, so chances are they probably haven't implemented AI in their business or they don't know about the AI possibilities that they could be implementing in their business. So that's a great place to start. And on top of that, you're targeting local businesses in your area. So it's a great place to actually start collecting your first few clients and first few testimonials. So in just a second, I'll be going through what type of service you'll be providing them. So before we dive into the nitty gritty on how we actually set this AI system up for these businesses, let's dive into this kind of chart here where every single business experiences this problem, right? The first thing that they experience or the first problem that I experience is leads. They don't have enough leads and leads are pretty much just people interested in your business services. If they don't have leads, then they don't have customers. And this is where the traditional SMMA comes in, right? Back in 2016, 2017, every single person is selling an SMMA service. Pretty much what that solves is pretty much one problem, lead flow, right? Every single business needs leads. So SMMA solves that. But now in 2025, just getting leads isn't enough, right? People and businesses need qualified leads. And a qualified lead is different from a, just a normal lead because a qualified lead is someone who is interested in your business and is ready to pay for your service because they have a problem. The next step of turning that lead into a customer is turning them into a qualified lead. So what does a qualified lead mean? A qualified lead is pretty much a someone who is interested in your business and is open and willing to pay for your services. So let's say a lead Marcus is interested in my plumbing company. So what I need to do next as a business owner in the plumbing niche is I need to qualify Marcus, right? I need to ask, hey Marcus, what's the problem with your bathroom? Are you available tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. for our plumber to come into your house? And Marcus says yes. Now Marcus has turned into a qualified lead because now he's ready to pay us because he has a problem with the toilet. So converting a lead to a qualified lead is the next step in the marketing process which is why the traditional SMMA model isn't very good because what we're solving essentially as a SMMA is pretty much just getting them a lead. We're not helping turn that lead into a qualified lead. And this is what we're gonna be doing essentially as an AI agency, is we're gonna be qualifying those leads as well as helping this business get leads, right? Because a lot of the leads die here. A lot of businesses, they don't have time to call up Marcus and be like, hey Marcus, do you have availability tomorrow, right? They don't have time for that. 
and chances are you can come into the business and help them build an AI caller, which is gonna call Marcus up and say, hey, are you available tomorrow at 4.30 p.m.? Cool, nice, we're gonna come into your house tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. And that is essentially what we're gonna be building for these businesses. The first job is ad setup, right? So there are two ways which we can do this. The first method is that we can do this ourselves, which is setting up the ads ourselves for the client. And number two is that we can have someone do it for us. We'll be going through both of these methods in this video. All right, so what's the first step? Well, the first step is to make the videos, right? This, how do we make these video ads to run on Facebook? Well, we go on a platform called arcads.ai or Creatify. These are two softwares that we use to actively make these AI videos to run on Facebook to get ourselves clients. We're just gonna head into Creatify and we're gonna just select an AI avatar for us. So let's say I'm running a landscaping AI agency, right? So I'm targeting landscaping clients, right? I wanna find landscaping clients and I want these landscaping clients to pay me five to $10,000 per project. What am I gonna do is I'm gonna head into Creatify, I'm gonna select an AI avatar, and I'm gonna paste in a script for the AI avatar to speak. So what we're gonna do as a next step is we're gonna head into ChatGPT, and we're just gonna type, create a Facebook ad script for our creator to read off to help a landscaping client get more qualified appointments per month with the help of our AI dialer and Facebook ads. Create five different hooks to start off. Hooks are just basically the start of the video with the first few seconds. Landscaping clients are slipping through your fingers every single day just because you don't have this right system booked them fast enough, right? If you're not the first landscaper to call them back, you're already losing the job to your competition. So I, I really like hook two here. So I'm gonna ask it to expand on hook two and create me a full script here, all right? So this is the full script that the AI dialer is gonna be speaking. I'm just gonna copy and paste this script into the Creatify platform here, and I'm gonna get this avatar to say it for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that script into Creatify to have that AI avatar speak that script for me, and we're gonna then upload this on the Facebook so we can see here. If you're not the first landscaper to call them back, you're already losing the job to your competition. Homeowners don't wait. They send quote requests to multiple companies, and whoever calls first usually wins. If you're slow, you're handing jobs to someone else. That's why we built a system that fixes this. We run targeted Facebook ads to find homeowners ready to hire, and the second they show interest, our AI dialer automatically calls, texts, and books the appointment straight into your calendar. No missed calls, no wasted time. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty much the final product of creating this AI avatar, which we're gonna run as a Facebook ad to help us get clients, right? So we're gonna head into Facebook ads as a next thing. We're just gonna type in Facebook ads manager. And we're just gonna go in there and create a business account. So the first step in the Facebook ads manager is to set a goal, right? So the goal usually is conversions. We want these leads to convert. The next step is we define our target audience, right? Who are we targeting? And we wanna set detailed targeting options. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. We wanna set also the location. You also wanna set the age, languages, but you can also leave all of that blank in 2025 because the Facebook ads algorithm is pretty strong. So as soon as you upload that video ad that we just saw just now into Facebook, it's able to kind of automatically populate and see who they should be targeting. So we could just leave that blank. And now we move on to step three, which is creating an ad budget. Pretty much how much do you want to spend every single day? Pretty much set a lifetime or a daily budget. So usually we want to start with 50 bucks or let's say 100 bucks a day. And you can also choose the start and end date of that campaign. All right, so this is the next step of setting up a Facebook ad, which brings up to the next step, which is selecting where do you want to show that Facebook ad, right? Do you wanna show it in the Messenger's feed? Do you wanna show it on Stories? Do you wanna show it on Instagram or do you wanna just show it on Facebook because you have the choice to run it on Facebook as well as Instagram? So it's up to you. So we usually do Stories and Reels. Next step is to create the ad and upload the ad, right? Do you wanna run a picture ad or do you wanna run a video ad? Well, in our case, we're running that video ad that I just showed you just now. So we're just gonna click on edit media and just upload video and that video is gonna then show. And the next and final step is pretty much launch the ad. The ad is pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna click on publish at the bottom right hand corner and we're ready to run our Facebook ad, right? So we're gonna be running this Facebook ad for ourselves as well as for the client. So pretty much what we're doing for the client, we're gonna be doing for ourselves because we're trying to find clients as well. So we're pretty much gonna be doing that exact same step for us as well as for the client. And that is pretty much how we do it ourselves. If you find this too technical and you don't wanna do it yourself, you can definitely hire someone to do it for you. You can hire an offshore Facebook ads agency, just like ClickX to run the Facebook ads for you. So then you don't have to fulfill on the work yourself. You don't have to spend months learning Facebook ads yourself. You can just pay someone else to do it for you for $497 a month because you'll be charging the client $5,000 to $10,000 upfront for a setup fee 
for building that AI dialer for them. So it doesn't hurt us to pay a Facebook ads agency, let's say 500 bucks a month to run the Facebook ads for us, right? So we're actually taking the profit as a middleman, all right? So what do we do now after we've actually ran the Facebook ads and gotten them leads? Well, we're gonna be setting up the AI dialer or the AI caller. There's two methods to do it. We could either do it ourselves or we could have someone do it for you. But if you wanna do it yourself, here's a brief rundown of how to do it. We're gonna be using a system or a software called Synflow. It's pretty much a software which enables us to outbound dial to, to leads uh, and have that AI dialer speak with us. So all we need to do is just create an AI agent. But as you can see here, if you're interested in how much it costs to actually run, uh, pretty much the basic plan is $97 a month. We're just gonna create an account. We're gonna create a new campaign by selecting start from scratch. And then we're gonna just select outbound for the type of assistant because we're dialing people rather than someone dialing us. All right, after that, we're just gonna configure our AI agent. We're gonna select and name the AI agent. So let's say my outbound plumbing assistant. We wanna be English. We wanna use, and for the AI model, we usually use GPT-4 or Anthropic. It's up to you. Select your voice for your AI agent, which is gonna dial them up. And then after that, we're gonna select and create the AI voice here and give it a prompt here. So in our case, the prompt was introduction, you're a Jordan, a senior sales representative, target audience is this. So you can always come up with your own prompt and use ChatGPT to come up with the prompts for you. But pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna browse all the available voices, test the different voices to see which voices fit your business the best and consider creating multiple voices if your, if your campaign requires different personas. And the last thing you wanna do is you wanna design the conversation, which is creating your conversation structure. What are the common questions that people might ask the AI dialer? And you pretty much wanna create that and build that out on Simflow. And pretty much that's exactly how you do it by yourself. If you want someone to do it for you, you can always go on Fiverr or Upwork to hire an offshore developer or a tech guy to really just set that up for you and pay him maybe anywhere from 200 bucks to a thousand dollars to set it up for you because essentially this leads me to my next point you're essentially charging the client ten thousand dollars or five to ten thousand dollars one-off fee a setup fee uh, for you to implement all of this for them right so the first thing you want to do is is running ads right you want to run ads for that client right so the client pays you ten thousand dollars you run Facebook ads for that client to get those clients leads using the AI method that we had just now, which is using and creating an AI ad here. We, ne we don't have to film it ourselves now. We can always just use AI to do that for us, which is pretty neat and pretty clean. And a lot of our students inside the AI Renaissance Mastermind is seeing success with using this method because you don't have to show your face and that's why they love it. And they're just being essentially the middleman between the client and the people that they're hiring. The Facebook ads agency costs you $497 a month. So the client pays you 10K and then you pay the Facebook ads agency 497 the first month to run ads for that client, right? We're also gonna hire an offshore developer tech guy to help us build out that AI dialer for us. So then that AI dialer can qualify the leads for that business. So let's say we pay this offshore developer $1,000. So that's pretty much 497 times three, pretty much 1.5K plus 1K, so that's 2.5K. So 10,000 minus 2.5K, so that's gonna be around 7.5K in profit. That's per client and per project. So let's say you sell them this AI service for $10,000. What I would do is I would usually offer the first month of Facebook ads free for this client, which means that we're paying the Facebook ads agency 497, but to the client we're saying, hey, you know, we charge you $10,000 to build you that AI dialer for you. So pretty much essentially we're profiting 7.5K per client, per project. But of course you can sign multiple of these clients every single month, which is why a lot of our students inside the AI Renaissance are making around 20 to 30 grand a month. One of our students just hit his first $800 day by selling these AI systems to businesses and also helping them run ads. So if you're interested in, in my team and I, helping you build out an AI agency in 2025. So make sure you click on the link below down in the description for us to help you build out an AI agency from scratch so that you can take all our systems and all our templates and you can just run with it because the reality is AI is changing super quick. Hundreds and even thousands of new AI tools are coming out every single day and our agency is super up to date so we can just give you all those systems and templates for you to run with straight away. So let's take a look at Go High Level for a second here and let's go into sites and automations. You might be wondering, hey, after they click on the ad on Facebook, where do we actually lead them to, right? All right, so this is what the opt-in page looks like whenever a prospect hops onto the landing page from us. So pretty much what we're doing is we're running this ad here to a landing page. And the landing page just looks like this. And all of our AI Renaissance Mastermind members get access to the snippet, a template, which is copy and paste. You don't have to build this out yourself. And this works for over a hundred different niches. You can just copy and paste your niche. What the prospect does is they land on this page here 
and they click on book a call, right? When they book a call with you, pretty much what you're gonna do on the call is gonna explain to them what you're gonna do for that business. You can, first of all, you're gonna be running ads for them, and second of all, you're gonna be building an AI dialer for them. So after they click on this, they're gonna be prompted to enter their name and their phone number and their email to hop on that sales call with you so you can then charge them and pitch them for your services, right? And this is how you actually assign your first client. Super simple. So they give you the full name, they give you their phone number, and they give you their email. What happens next? In order to get these prospects to show up, you need to have automation set in place. So we actually have a lead nurturing sequence here in Go High Level. Again, our AI Renaissance Mastermind members have access to this, so they can just copy and paste and have this implemented in a matter of minutes rather than having to spend months building this themselves. Look, let's take a look at the email one here. Hey, first name, thank you for showing your interest in our AI powered system. I noticed you haven't you know, scheduled a call with us yet. Uh, make sure that you schedule a call with us. And actually a lot of our clients, local business owners have implemented this system that we're selling you right now. So make sure you book a call, right? So this is pretty much an automation, which gets that prospect to book a call with you and, and actually hop on the call with you. So you can then sign them for that $5,000 $10,000 project. So if you want access to this, then make sure you click on the link down below uh, to book a call with our team and I to see if you're a good fit to start an AI agency with us. If you found some value, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm super excited to see you in the next video.